Yeah, so like I said, today we are going to be doing a toucan. So we're going to be using um, our black pen and we're going to have a lot of curved lines. So as you can see here from the beak, it curves up and over all the way until it connects to the forehead. Then we're gonna curve all the way down. Um, again, curving towards the um, face and then we're gonna curve over to the side. And then there's a few areas where we can do some big um, blocks and big shapes so that we can color those in later on. And this is called a cropped image, which means that it is kind of a zoomed in image. So we don't see the rest of the body here, but the nice thing about this is it allows us to see the um, close up detail in the beak and all of the colors and even some texture with um, the feathers right here. So I am going to start out by touching my paper and I'm going to decide how big I'm going to do my toucan. Oh, and then if you want, you can actually, it might be good to do it landscape orientation so long. So I want you to go ahead and leave a little bit of space on the left side. So I'm going to use my fingers to measure and I'm going to leave three fingers width on the left and then I want you to put a little planning dot and then I'm going to go to the right side I'm going to use my three fingers place it down on the right side of the paper and then I'm going to do another planning dot right there So this way we have a border and it'll allow us some space to do some stuff in the background later on Okay, so the next thing I want you to do, I want you to just touch with your finger and practice the line that you're gonna do. So you're gonna be doing a curve line, curving up and over until you get to about the um, one third from the right. Okay, so you're just gonna practice with your finger first and then you can go ahead and when you feel confident, you can do that line. So um, I'm going to put a planning dot up here and then I'm going to do my curve line curving over towards the left until it touches the planning dot on the left side. So this is gonna be the top of the beak. Then the next thing we're gonna do is the, um, the uh, area where the beak touches the face. So this is gonna be another curve line, so I want you to go from that planning dot I want you to curve down. It's going to go a little bit towards the right and then in. So you have this wavy line here. Okay. And then this is going to be for the top part of the beak. So I want you to go from here. And you're going to do a nice long curve line curving over towards the left side. There we go. So pretty simple drawing. Today is gonna be more about like looking at color, um, looking at how we can mix the colors together. So once you're done with that, I want you to do a slightly diagonal straight line. So this line is gonna go from the point right here. It's gonna go diagonally towards the left. Okay, and if you want, you can practice and put a little planning dot. And then you can go ahead and do your line. So diagonal straight line. And then we're just gonna bring that line, you're gonna curve over towards the left. It's gonna come up a little bit just to make that hook. And then it's gonna connect at the end. So that is our toucan's beak. Okay, so um, the next thing I want us to do is the um, forehead. So I want you to go to the top point here and we are going to do a curved line that is curving a little bit up and then over towards the right to where we put that planning dot. So that's gonna be the curve of the head. Okay. 
Now I want you to continue this curved line and go all the way down until you touch the bottom of the paper. So again, you're gonna start at that planning dot. You're gonna curve all the way down until you get to the bottom of the paper. So this is a side view. So we um, are seeing the toucan when, when his head is turned towards his right. How are you guys doing over there? Keiko, how are you doing? Let me see, what do you have? Let me make it bigger so I can see. Okay. Oh, you haven't started yet? Yeah. Oh, no lines yet? Do you have something to draw with? Okay, you can use that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I want you to look at the lines that I have here. I know you can get caught up. I don't want you to get lost, okay? So I want you to do your curve line for the beak. Okay, and take it step by step. Okay. Here, I will show you the video now here. There you go. Can you see that? Nice, Shogo. Yeah, looks good so far. So, Keiko, I want you to just get caught up, and there's only a few lines here, so I know you can do it. Okay, so the next step is we are going to go from here, this little area where it kind of like hooks, and you're going to do a curve line. It's curving over towards the right. goes down a little bit. And then we are going to um, do a curve line from here, curving over to the right side. It looks like, almost like he's wearing a shirt. Here, let me show you the picture again. <laughs> See, so we have this um, white area underneath the beak. And then it's, we're doing this curve line curving over to the side, okay? So from here, curving all the way over to the right side. Okay, we're gonna do one more line and then I am going to have you guys start to choose your colors. So you're gonna go from here. You wanna go a little bit above that last line. And then you're gonna do a curve line curving over towards the left until you go and touch the bottom of the paper. Uh, Keiko, do you want me to start over with you? I can help you. you want Okay, good. Yeah, we can start over. So um, before I go over with you, Kegel, um, for the rest of you, I want you to just grab a black marker. Let's see where you have a black marker. And I want you to just color everything below this curve line. I want you to do in black. So you can use actually the flat side of your marker and do a bunch of lines kind of layered. That way we get a little bit of texture. Okay, so that'll take some time. So I want you guys to work on that area while I um, start with you. Okay, can you go ready? Yeah, okay, cool. So. First thing I want you to do, I want you to start kind of near the right side of the paper. Let's get this over, okay. And I want you to do a curved line curving over to the left. So a big curved line. This is for the top of the beak. Okay, next, 
we are going to do a curved line curving out towards the right and then back in. And then, you good? Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. All right, okay, cool. And then you're gonna go from here, you're gonna do a long curve line until you touch the side of the beak. Curve all the way over to the left. So that's the top of the toucan's beak, okay? Now, from here, I want you to put your mar marker right here, and I want you to do a short diagonal straight line. So it's kind of pointing down towards your left. Okay, ready? All right. And then we're gonna go from here and we're gonna connect it all the way until we get to the left side. And I want you to bring it up a little bit because you want it to look like a little hook. Oh, I just wanna make sure we're all on the same page. So um, I'm just getting Kegel caught up, okay? But for now, you know, Shogo and Osiris, I want you guys to be working on coloring in this area. That's what you should be doing right now, okay? All of this is gonna be black. Okay, Kegel, so the next step, I want you to go to the top of the beak and I want you to curve up a little bit and then over to the right side until you touch the bottom of the paper. Okay. Now, I want you to go back to the toucan's beak right here. Okay, you can place your pen there. And I want you to do a curve line curving towards the right. Okay, and now from here, you're gonna curve over to the right side and connect it at the other side of the neck. Okay, there's one more line we need. So I want you to go just a little bit up, like in the middle of this curve line. And I want you to do another curve line curving down and over to, until you touch the bottom of the paper. Okay, let me see what you have. All right, we got a toucan, nice. Okay, I knew you could, I knew you could catch up with us. Okay, so now, Okay, go. don't worry about coloring all of this in, you know? We, we can always do that later, because, you know, like I showed you guys in the picture here, it has the black underneath the white part of the neck. You can do that later, no problem. So, I want you guys to take a break from coloring in that black, and we're gonna go on to the next step. So, we are going to go ahead and um, add some detail into the face. So we are missing the eyeball. So the eye is going to be a circle, okay? So I want you to go really close to this curve line. And I want you to leave a little tiny bit of space, hop over, put a little planning dot. Looks like a tiny little beady eye, okay? But now we're gonna make it much bigger. So I want you to do a Curve line curving all the way around until it makes a circle shape. So that is going to be the eye. And in the picture I have here, we have this like really beautiful bright blue eye. So that's the iris. All right, did everyone get the circle? You can give me a thumbs up. Okay, cool. Osiris, did you get your circle for the eye?
Okay, cool. So now we are going to do an oval shape in the middle of the eye. So let me show you the picture here. So the um, pupil, which is the black part of the eye, it's circular, it's round, but it's a little bit smushed. It's like a smush circle. So we're gonna do that. So just go ahead and do, leave a little bit of space um, in between the first circle and this next one. And you're going to do an oval shape in the middle of the eye. Um, the next area we are going to do is on the top of the head. See, we have this black, it looks like he's wearing like a little black wig, right? <laughs> so we're going to do that curved line coming from the top of the head, curving over until you meet the right side. So we can go ahead and do that now. So you're going to do a curved line at the top. And then you go all the way until you touch the line on the right. So basically we're just creating these really simple shapes so that later on we know where we are going to start coloring them in. All right, so there are just a few more lines we're gonna do, which is going to, again, show us where we um, want to color it in. So we're going to do this curved line for the black part of the beak. And then we're also going to do this shape here. So this little blob of black. And then after that, we can go in with color. Do you have a question, Jogo? Uh, I noticed that there are things that are at the bottom and a little bit of blue at the top. Yeah, that's true, yeah. So in the eyeball, you mean? Yeah. This this area? No. This one? Uh, and one more. This? Yeah. This area. Oh yeah. So that's true. So it does look like it's a little bit like um, bluish black up here. So good observation. So what we can do is we can mix that color together we can layer the ink together. So I'm happy that you guys are starting to notice those little um, little changes in color because that's, that's what's really amazing for artists. They can um, look at something and see a lot of the detail. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the drawing here. Now, we are gonna start out with this black area for the beak. So I want you to go to the top. I want you to leave a little bit of space, kind of hop over to the left. And then I want you to do this curved line curving down. It's going to touch at the, um, the middle of the beak. Okay, and then you're gonna curve over towards the left. And then it will end at the end of the beak. So again, that's gonna be that black area that you can color in with your marker or your Sharpie. The one other area that we'd like to do is the um, end of the beak. So I want you to go to, uh, let's see, I want you to go to about a third of the beak. So if you imagine cutting this beak in three pieces, one, two, three, then I want you to go to the first third right here. And then I want you to do a little bit of a curve line curving up. You're going to do a squiggly line, kind of wavy line going up, kind of towards the top of the beak. You're gonna take that wavy line a little bit over towards the left. And then you can finish off by doing a nice long curve line, curving over until it connects to the top edge of the beak. All right, so that is it for our drawing. So now what I want us to do is, um, it's called color blocking. So we are going to make a little dot of color 
and it's kind of like those color by numbers that you guys see so we're going to make a little dot of color and the colors that you'll need you're going to be needing black uh, orange a bright yellow a red and a blue oh i'll have to find my blue i'll go grab it here i'll use this for that. the deep blue okay so what we're gonna do is we're going to just do a little dot of each color wherever we um, wanna add that color and kind of block out the colors. So this is one way to approach um, the colored portion. Usually we just go, you know, look at the picture and then add color um, as we go. But this way is kind of, it allows you to plan where you're going and that way you know, okay, this is gonna be orange. This is gonna be yellow. This is gonna be black. So we'll just do little dots of color and then it'll be like a key. So let's start with black. So the black is going to be this area here. So I'm just gonna do a little line of black. It's also going to be kind of like from here, from the, from the middle of this area, going down and then into here. We're also going to add black. I want you to do a line going through the middle of the eye and then the black is going to be below there. This whole entire piece here is black. And then I know some of you guys already started this area black, but all of this is going to be black too. Okay. So don't go into coloring it fully. I just want you to do little tiny dots of color, do color blocking, and then we're going to move on to the next color. And then just give me a thumbs up when you're ready for the next color. Kayla, okay, you have a question? Or you, you thumbs up. All right, you're ready. Do a what? A cap? <laughs> oh, you want to do a hat on your toucan? That'd be so funny. I think that'd be hilarious. Yeah, you can definitely do that. You can add whatever you want to your guy. You know, this is just kind of the uh, original one, but you can make it a funny little character if you want. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the next color. So I want you to grab your red. Okay, and so for the red, we're going to block off the area of the beak. So let me show the picture again. So we have this beak here, and we're going to do a nice long curve line with red at the very top of the beak. So go ahead and use your red marker and go to the top of the beak. And I want you to just do a really long curve line and you can use the point. So it's really nice and skinny. So everything above that skinny line is going to be red. Okay. And then the next color I want us to do is orange. So the orange is um, going to block off this way. So you're gonna leave a little bit of space from the black. You're going to do a curve line curving down to the middle of the beak. Okay, and then you're gonna do another curve line curving over until it touches the squiggly line. And then basically everything under this area is going to be orange. All 
All right, and then the last bit of orange, show you the picture again. Last bit of orange we have is the orange around the eye. So I want you to look at the negative space. So look, there's a tiny little triangle of white at the top, and then there's only a little bit of space in between the blue part of the eye and the orange. So we're gonna keep that in mind when we do our marks. So you're gonna leave a little triangle of orange at the top, uh, of white at the top. So you do a little tiny curve line up here. And then you're gonna do another curve line curving right really close to the eyeball. And then a little curve line just right there. So everything around the eye is gonna be orange. All right, and then the very last part is the blue. And the blue is basically just this kind of donut shape around the eyeball. So if you want, you can make a little mark. You know, this is all gonna be blue around the eye. And then, so now that we have um, blocked out our color, it's called color blocking, we can go ahead and start to fill in those areas. So just like I said, it's kind of like having a coloring book and it has the uh, paint by numbers and you have to match the colors with the number. So we've um, created the key of what colors go where and now you can just add color to it. So I'm going to switch over. I'm gonna just show you the picture here so you can take a look at all of the beautiful color mixtures. And then we have about um, 15 minutes, so that's plenty of time to use your um, markers to color it in. And just a reminder, so for, you know, when you're using the markers, you can get different lines. So, you know, if I want to cover a big area, I want to use the flat side. So you're going to press down and it'll do a big area of color that way. And if I want to do small lines, like exam for example, like for the black part where the black meets the white and I wanna do a little texture with the feather, you can use the point. So I'm pointing it and I'm getting all these tiny little lines so that it really looks like the texture of the feathers. Okay, is everyone done with the key? Am I? Are you ready for me to show the picture now? Okay, I'm gonna switch the picture over and then you can take a look at that. And I recommend um, actually doing the colors first. So I always start with the lightest value color. So I like to start with yellow and then orange and then red and then the blue and then leave the black for the end because you don't wanna have too much black in there. It might mix together with your other marker color and then it'll start to change the marker and it'll be a little bit darker.
All right, so that is it for our toucan drawing. As always, you can add, you know, whatever you want in the background, um, make it come to life, or you can just leave it as a simple um, drawing like this. But um, don't forget to sign your name. It's always good as artists to, you know, make a habit of that. So usually artists sign in the bottom right hand corner. You can put your name there and then the date or the year if you want. And then um, you have your sweet little toucan drawing.